The HAL Tejas MK2 of 2025 represents one of the most anticipated advancements in India's indigenous defense aviation program. Developed by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL, this upgraded version of the Tejas light combat aircraft is not just an iteration. It is a leap towards self-reliance, multirole capability, and competitive edge in the modern battlefield. Unlike its predecessor, which was limited primarily to air superiority and light ground attack roles, the MK2 is designed from the ground up to be a medium-weight multirole fighter, bridging the gap between light fighters and heavyweight aircraft like the Suhoi Su-30 MKI. While the Tejas MK1 was more of a symbolic success showcasing India's capability to field a modern combat jet, the MK2 is an operationally mature, lethal, and export-viable platform. From a distance, the MK2 retains the Delta Wing Canard configuration familiar from the Tejas lineage, but it's noticeably larger, sleeker, and more assertive in its stance. The fuselage is longer by over a meter compared to the MK-1A, allowing for greater fuel storage, avionics bays, and structural reinforcements necessary for heavier payloads. The canards positioned near the cockpit are a major design shift, offering enhanced maneuverability, quicker pitch response, and improved stability at high angles of attack. These aerodynamic improvements enable the MK-2 to maintain high-speed agility while carrying heavier loads, making it more suitable for deep strike and multirole missions. The heart of the MK-2 is its power plant, the General Electric F414 GINS-6 engine. This afterburning turbofan engine produces 98 kN of thrust with afterburner, offering a significant jump from the F404 engine used in the MK-1. The engine allows the Tejas MK-2 to achieve a maximum speed exceeding Mach 1.8 and an operational ceiling of 52,000 feet. What makes this engine notable is not just its raw power but its reliability, modular maintenance approach, and compatibility with the future indigenous engine programs that India aims to integrate in the coming decades. With this propulsion unit, the MK-2 can handle a much higher thrust-to-weight ratio, providing better takeoff performance, sustained turns, and acceleration, all essential in a modern dogfight or strike mission. In terms of payload, the Tejas MK-2 has doubled the weapon-carrying capability of the MK-1A, now capable of carrying approximately 6,500 kg across 13 hardpoints. This makes it suitable for a wide variety of mission profiles including air-to-air, air-to-ground, anti-ship, electronic warfare, and reconnaissance. It can carry a combination of beyond visual range BVR missiles like the Astra MK-1 and Astra MK-2, short-range missiles like the ASRAAM, smart precision guided bombs, glide bombs, and standoff weapons. Notably, the MK-2 has been designed to integrate future weapons of Indian and foreign origin with relative ease due to its modular avionics and open architecture mission systems. A key leap forward in the MK-2 is its avionics suite. The cockpit is outfitted with a panoramic touchscreen display with intuitive control logic, a holographic head-up display, HUD, hands-on throttle and stick, HOTAS controls, and advanced digital flight control systems. The mission computer is built with high redundancy and cybersecurity considerations. The aircraft is equipped with an indigenously developed active electronically scanned array AESA, radar, which offers better tracking, target resolution, and jamming resistance than the mechanically scanned radars of the past. The radar has been integrated with an indigenous electronic warfare suite that includes radar warning receivers, jammers, and countermeasure dispensers for chaff and flares. These capabilities allow the MK-2 to detect threats. At long range, jam incoming radars, and decoy incoming missiles, all while maintaining stealth through design and reduced radar cross-section. While it's not a stealth aircraft per se, the Tejas MK-2 employs a number of stealth-friendly design principles. These include radar absorbent materials on critical surfaces, minimized panel gaps, internal wiring, flush mounted sensors, and careful shaping to reduce radar reflectivity. The inclusion of conformal fuel tanks helps preserve aerodynamic and radar efficiency without compromising fuel range. Its infrared search and track IRST, sensor mounted ahead of the canopy offers passive tracking of enemy aircraft and missiles even stealthy ones, giving pilots an additional tool to avoid surprise attacks or engage targets without relying solely on radar emissions. The aircraft's airframe is built using a combination of advanced materials like carbon fiber composites, titanium alloys, and lightweight aluminum-lithium structures. 
This not only reduces weight but also improves fatigue life, corrosion resistance, and structural integrity under high-stress flight conditions. The usage of composites covers over 45% of the airframe, especially in the wings, fuselage, and tail, enhancing durability and radar transparency. Maintenance-friendly modular design also ensures quicker turnaround times during high-tempo operations. From a pilot's perspective, the MK2 offers enhanced ergonomics, better visibility, and a significantly reduced workload. The fly-by-wire control system is now quadruplex, compared to the triplex system of earlier models, providing higher redundancy and safety. This also enables smoother handling.